वेलकम बैक टू सॉरी वर्क एंड एन सी ट्यूटर यूट्यूब चैनल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेलाइकन बटन इन दिस सॉरी वर्क शीट मेटल टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द शीट मेटल गजट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू मेक दिस पार्ट वी विल लर्न डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ शीट मेटल गजट एंड वाई इट इज़ यूज सो एज वी हैव कवर ऑल द बेसिक टूटोरियल्स ऑन द बेस फ्लैन टैब एज फ्लैन मीटर फ्लैन जॉग स्वेप फ्लैन कॉर्नर ट्रीटमेंट एंड फार्मिंग टूल यू कैन वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक सो इन दिस टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द शीट मेटल गजट सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट द फ्रंट प्लेन टू मेक आवर स्केच सेलेक्ट फ्रंट प्लेन फ्राम हेयर गो टू स्केच एंड सिंपली मेक द लाइन फ्राम हेयर like this and make another line with some angle so give the dimension to this line as 100 mm and we are going to give the angle of 160 degree like this and length of 100 mm so the give it the length to so now give the length to this so now we are going to give the dimension to this horizontal line give the dimension of 150 mm like this so now our sketch has been ready now we will go to the sheet metal tab so we are going to use the simple base flange tab to add the material to our sketch so simply select the mid plane and give it the dimension of 150 mm so as we have cover all the basic topics like uh, gauge how to use or add gauge tables and what is the band alliance we have covered all these topic with the disc, uh, with detail so you can watch uh, the all the videos from the description so give the dimension to 130 mm and select okay from here so now you can see that our base part is ready now simply we are going to add the break corners for the fillet command you can also use the chamfer from here break type i use as chamfer so select this edge too so now you can see that our fillet has been made this yellow contour is showing the fillets now simply select okay from here so now what we are going to do is we are going to add the edge flange simply select the edge flange from here and make the edge like this same for this edge and give it the value of 45 mm and select okay so basically sheet metal gazette is used to strengthen our bends like this is the there is the bend at this edge so we are going to add the sheet metal gazettes to these two faces so simply select the sheet metal gazette from here and this is the sheet metal gazette property manager so this first tab is showing that you have to select the two faces two flat faces so this one is our first face and this one is our second face so now you can see that it has automatically made the gazet here so now there are the two points this one is the edge and this one is the point so uh, this point is showing that this uh, gazet is starting from this edge so there is option of offset from here if you will unselect this offset option the gazet will made on the point like this this point will be the mid mid point of this gazet if you will select this so it will be made offset like if you want to make it in the middle so you can give any of the dimension from here according to your calculation so i am going to give the 10 mm because i have to use the linear pattern after it so the next step is the profile so you can also add the uh, custom dimensions to your profile or you can also add the indent depth 
indent depth mean that how much depth of your gazet is i will show you this after making the gazet so if you want to change the dimension of this gazet like this one is the first dia and this one is second dia from here you can see like this so this one is a dia one this one is a dia two if you want to change the angle you can also change the angle respectively like this so if you want to uh, flip the dimension side you can also flip it so if you simply want to make the indent depth dimension you can simply make the indent indent depth from here like this so the next step is the indent width so if you want to make the width larger you can simply make the larger width from here if you want to increase the thickness you can increase the thickness from here so th the other three options are the side face draft inner corner fillet and outer corner fillet i will show you these two types of fillet after i will make the shimmer gazet so first of all i have one select all these three options so now simply select okay from here and now from here you can see that it is showing the indent depth so this uh, this hollow is our indent depth so now you can see that the edges of these gazettes are sharp so to make these edges fillet just simply again go to the edit feature and from here you can add the uh, inner corner fillets and from here you can add the outer corner outer corner is this one uh, at these faces green faces and the uh, inner corner fillet is the uh, corner at the indent depth so once your geometry has been made if you want to add the draft you can also add the draft from here like this so i am going to use the 2 degree draft select okay from here so now you can see that we have added the fillets mm, this edge was a sharp edge and now it is fillet uh, the fillet has been added to these edges like this now we are simply going to add the linear pattern so for that we will go to feature tab select the linear pattern and from here you will select the direction i am going to select this edge and from the features i will select this sheet metal gazet so from here you can simply change the direction of the pattern and from here you can increase the distance between these patterns so select okay from here so now you can see how easily we have add the sheet metal gazet to our body so same we are going to use the rip feature now so for that we will again go to the sheet metal command select sheet metal gazet and now we are going to use these two faces first one is this and second one is this so now you can see that the sheet metal gazet has already been added automatically so now if you want to use the rip type or flat gazet you can add the flat gazet from here the first one was the rounded gazet and this one is the flat gazet so again you can change the dimension accordingly like this so now simply select the okay command from here so now simply we are going to use the linear pattern so simply select this edge and select this feature so for that simply decrease the instances and keep the um, dimension or spacing same so select okay from here so use the same feature for these two faces of the bends so again simply go to the sheet metal select the sheet metal gazet from here select these two faces and we are going to add the rounded gazet from here so again select okay so now you can see that indent has been made and sheet metal gazet is ready so again go to features like linear pattern from here 
select this edge on which you are going to make the pattern select the feature like this and increase the instances to 7 again or we can also use the instances to 6 so select ok from here so now you can see that how easily we have made this complex geometry using the sheet metal gazette command and we have uh, add strengths to our bands so in the next video we are going to learn about the tab and slot and after that we will complete our solidworks sheet metal course so thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for the more interesting videos